So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is your very own mask order this side, and today we will be solving the next POTD, which is swap the array elements. Okay, so let's see what does the problem say. The problem says that suppose you have an array one, two, three, four, five. You have to swap every ith element with every i plus two th element, right? So what does the question say? So suppose you're standing here at the first step, right? i is 0, i plus 2 is 2. So i plus 2 is third element. You swap these two. The array becomes 3, 2, 1, 4, 5. Am I right? Am I clear? Yes. Okay, you move to the next index that is here. i plus 2 is here, right? Swap these two. The array becomes 3, 4, 1, 2, 5, right? You move here. You swap it, swap it with this. Right, the array becomes 3, 4, 5, 2, 1. Right, you move here. Now, i plus 2 doesn't exist. It is out of bounds. Okay, so you end your iteration here. And yes, this is your answer. This is your answer, 3, 4, 5, 2, 1. Okay, so our approach will be very simple. We will be starting from i equals to 0 will go up till i plus 2 is less than n. i plus 2 is less than n because i plus 2 should be in bounds. i plus 2 less than n and i plus plus. And what will we be doing? We will be swapping. Swapping arri and arri plus 2. Right? This is our only operation and then return. For swapping, we have three options. First option is to use the uh, standard way. What is the standard way? The standard way is we create a temporary variable temp equals to a right arri sorry arri okay arri is equals to arr of i plus 2 and at last arr of i plus 2 is equals to temp okay so let us see what this three of these uh, three operations are doing so what i have done is i have created a variable temp Let's take the example for this case 3, 2, and 4, right? Temp equals to ARRI, that is 2. Okay. And ARRI is equals to ARRI plus 2, that is 2 becomes equals to 4, right? And then ARRI plus 2 becomes temp, and temp stores 2, so 2. So you can see initially 4 was here, 2 was here, but now 4 is here, 2 is here. So we have swapped it correctly. Second operation that I would be using today is swapping. Swap ARRI, ARRI plus 2. It is an inbuilt function to swap these two values and it will be done correctly. Third function is slightly the mark wala sees. So you suppose you have AS2, BS4, right? And you, you your final outcome should be A is equals to 4, B is equals to 2, right? So what you can do is a equals to a plus b, b equals to a minus b, c equals to a minus b. Sorry, a equals to a minus b. So this is the standard operation that I have learned in my time. I have memorized. You can also do that. So what is happening here? A is storing two, b is storing four. So a will be storing two plus four six, right? B is a is storing six now. B is storing four. So b will be storing a minus b. That is six minus four. That is two. So you can see we have completed a requirement so storing b equals to 2 and after that a equals to a minus b 6 minus 2 will give me 4 so a is equals to 4 equals to g and we have swapped them correctly okay so any other three approaches you can use i will be using the inverse function because that is more easy right just one line of code so let's move to the code in the meantime it will, i would really appreciate if you are new here and you subscribe my channel right for entire going from 0 till i plus 2 is less than n i plus plus now uh, we have to swap the value of i and i so arr i with arr i plus 2 right and then return should work fine let's try to compare and run it and please 
like the video if you have understood the concept clearly and you have, if you are facing any problem then feel free to comment in the comment section below why is it taking your time yeah in the meantime i would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day thank you we'll meet tomorrow with a new question until then please keep coding and stay uh, keep hustling okay have a nice day